You step into a massive cooking arena where the afternoon lesson will take place. Each student will get an oven and all tools and ingredients they need. Look at this place! This is magnificent! Finally, we need to show our stuff! <laughs> Wait a second! Oh no! We have to show our stuff! What if I totally blow it? <laughs> You're not gonna blow anything, except maybe kisses to the crowds of fans you are gonna earn with your signature adorable Shut tiny food smell. creations. Welcome, <laughs> students, to the cooking arena! For today's lesson, we'll be cooking with partners. Hurry up and pair off. Naturally. <laughs> this is you. I thought it was Miriam. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Miriam looks over at you, but unable to control yourself, you pounce on Colonel Sanders. We were both shitty at theater, guys. Hey, Colonel. <laughs> would you would you like to tackle this lesson as a team? A uh, team of two? Uh, that is, me and you, if that wasn't clear. Want to be my partner? Sure, Taco Bell. I'll prepare our station. Without you as a partner, Miriam is left standing all alone. Two different students quickly take notice. Oh shit, if here we go. This is fucking Ashley you, and Van 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 Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No! <laughs> you fucking dicks! <laughs> Hello, new partner. <laughs> Beep boop. <boop-boop. laughs> Oh my, two potential partners. I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but I don't know who to choose. It looks like you'll have to pick for oh. her. Friend duty's gonna be a little awkward, but that's the price you pay for not being alone forever. Who do you want to ask to be Miriam's partner? Clank, easy. Fuck Pop forever. <laughs> sorry, so Pop, but I think Miriam will be partnering with Clank today. It's okay. I already ate. Who the fuck is this dick bag? It's not entirely clear He's if like Bob the... has any idea what the point of school even is at this juncture. It's fucking Austin. <laughs> I swear, this kid is like the big boy that was on top of the burger joints in the 60s. Clank is clearly excited to have some attention. He heats up and begins to roll Ooh. back and forth. Warp, warp, warp. Oh, that thing's gonna get it. Hold on there, fella. We don't even know the assignment yet. Technically, Clank might not have a face, but there's something charming and earnest about it. Oh, I knew it. You can fuck that machine. Uh, tissue? I hardly know you. <laughs> <laughs> Clank judders and the panel shakes loose. You get the impression that this is a sign of affection. Oh. Looks like you two will be fine. I'm gonna fuck this machine. Now it's time to focus on your own cooking classwork. All right, you two. For today's lesson, we're going to keep it simple. Pick a basic dish and divide up the steps. No chef is an island. It takes two flints to make a fire. You get the idea. Which dish do you suggest to your partner, Colonel Sanders? Oh, is this Steak your turn? Tartar with seems easy enough. It's fancy, uh, and you don't even need to cook it. Using octopus will blow his mind. <laughs> no, nope. your grandmother's, grandmother's mashed, mashed potatoes, potatoes and gravy. gravy. Let's do it. Yes, absolutely. I've always See, been... you get the hearts. I t- <laughs> Woo! Called it. I've always been something of a down home chef. I swear to God, if this is a bad end, even though that you picked the fucking. It'll be okay. Like, We're gonna fuck him, all right? You don't know how fucking dating sims work. Look at him. He's sexy. Anyway, I was thinking we could make something warm, inviting, comforting. Maybe mashed potatoes. And gravy. I couldn't imagine one without the other. Whoa. Colonel Sanders casts a coy look at you, causing your whole face to go beet red. (laughs) Embarrassed, you quickly turn away. I'll go get the potatoes. No, please. Let me. Picking perfect produce is a passion of mine. Looks like things are getting pretty fresh around here. Does someone have a crush on Colonel Sanders? We're just cooking partners. Mind your own business. Sanders' heart is my business, and you better keep your fingers off my man! That seems like the perfect entrance for... Ah! (laughs) Did someone call for me? (laughs) (laughs) Ah, no jeez, Van Van. While I'm over here crushing Taco Bell's dreams, you're supposed to be taking care of our classwork. That was the deal, remember? Listen to this shit. Hold on, before you skip this. <laughs> Dang, this yes, is, this that was is... like a fucking Team Rocket theme. 
Colonel Sanders returns, <laughs> arms fold of peeled potatoes. He tosses them into boiling water, and he turns his attention to you and your old friends. Oh, howdy there, Ashley, Van Van. Are we working in a quartet instead of a duet now? Actually, no. It looked like Taco Bell was struggling, so we offered to give them a hand. You know how it is. These young amateur chefs need a lot of mentoring. I was gonna say, Colonel Sanders, maybe I could also teach you a thing or two about fancy food. Maybe one day you might be able to get up to my level. Ha! Doubt it! Look at how fucking upset he is. He's like, ooh, fucking Van Van. <laughs> Don't be rude, Van Van! Personally, I have no doubts whatsoever about Colonel Sanders' ability to concoct creations worthy of admiration. After all, your fried chicken was quite spectacular. But, Colonel, if you ask me, I might make a better partner for you than this thing that has positioned itself at your station. Don't you feel, deep down, that we cast complimentary shadows? We fit together, like a thigh and a drumstick. It just makes sense. Nothing about this makes any sense. <laughs> but one thing is clear. playing goddamn dating simulator on a fucking fast food chain. <laughs> <laughs> She's coming for Colonel, if you don't watch out. Ooh. Ashley is really going at you hard. You need to ask for some backup here before things get ugly. Turn, Turn to, to Colonel Sanders, Sanders hunk, hunk of punks in, in your time, time of need. need. Turn to Miriam, your forever bestie who always has your back. You turn to Colonel Sanders! I'm here to learn and to express myself via my cuisine, not bicker with prima donnas. Partners were chosen at the beginning of class, so let's all respect the format, okay? You turn to Colonel Sanders to confirm that you're on the same page. I chose Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders chose me. Isn't that right? A businessman respects all fair agreements, from contracts to handshakes. I took on Taco Bell as my partner for this activity, and I stand by it. I have an idea. Can you just click on the screen instead of clicking the arrows next time? Based on your team's behavior, I'd say you're perfect for each other. Neither of you has Taco Bell's natural talent or their loyalty. Knew it. If you hold that down, that's going to skip through dialogue later if we get a bad end. Mm, I'm so that. good at fucking dating sims. <laughs> <laughs> Being defended by Colonel Sanders leaves you feeling proud and full of potential. You look for Sprinkles in hopes that he might step in, but he's nowhere to be found. Darn those cute corgis and their short but sturdy stature. <laughs> you look down at your station and realize that in the tension of the moment, you hand, your hands have been cooking on autopilot. Distracted by the drama, you've already crushed the boiled potatoes into a perfectly creamy mashed texture with plenty of butter and cream for flavor. It's as if your natural passion guided you through the steps you know so well while your attention was elsewhere. I know just what to do. Colonel Sanders extends his hand, holding a beautiful white porcelain gravy boat, <laughs> out of which pours a smooth brown gravy smothering your neatly finished potato dish. Gravy flows down the mound of mashed potatoes. The results look spectacular. Granny would be very proud. Now, Honestly, I want to fuck that bowl. I mean, it's it's Food Wars level fuckable. <laughs> Colonel Sanders holds a spork out to you. You reach out and grab hold of it, but he doesn't immediately let go. The two of you stand holding the same spork, and for that small moment... All of the madness and pressure in this crazy world stops. Me and Allison are touching feet right now. <laughs> Your eyes lock. The moment is electric. Time stands still. Look how fucking hot he is. This is fucking... If you love something, set it free. Together, you dig the utensil into the mashed potatoes and lift a heaping sporkful up. When you see Ashley with a sinister look, you know she's plotting against you to be with Colonel Sanders. And then, filled with the rage without <laughs> thinking, you fling a sporkful of mashed potatoes right into Ashley's stupid, beautiful face. Why? Van Van, do something, do something! Scooping up a <laughs> fingerful, Van Van tastes the dripping mashed potatoes and gravy and realizes that it's delicious. Horrified <laughs> yeah. by this revelation, he slinks away. Will he ever be able to cook something with so much love and integrity? Hold on right there, Taco Bell. We do not waste food in the broom cooking arena. Colonel Sanders, I expect better from you. If you throw one more spoonful, you'd both better be prepared to eat it from wherever it lands. Can I have <laughs> potatoes face? 
Van Van rushes this back over. This fucking JoJo character. <laughs> covered in his da- co- a covered dish in his hand. Mashed potatoes with gravy? Pathetic. In uh, just a few minutes, I prepared a full meal. Gaze upon it, my specialty. Braised tentacle of octopus in silky saltwater sauce. Plated on a battle axe blade? <laughs> Forged by my supreme chef ancestors. It's the fucking Joe Stars. <laughs> You've ignored me for too long! This ends now! It is I who will have the first bite, and you will all look on with envy! The interrupting student rushes at Van Van and swipes a bite of his signature dish right off of his plate. I can't beat the shit out of no, you without getting closer don't. first. Something about this dish doesn't strike my nose quite right. I think the octopus was rushed and may have turned in the process. The results could be toxic! Oh, look at him. Oh, Brad, look at him. Too late. It has been eaten. I, uh, I think I left something in the oven. I don't feel so good. It It killed killed him! (laughs) (laughs) Everyone step back. Don't take another bite. When you look at it, <laughs> the rest of it is gone. You notice the yes! tentacle being yes! stuffed into yes! Pop's mouth. Yes! Yes! Pop winces in pain for just a moment, then is almost immediately back to his shit. Self. Oopsie! Tastes like poison. I hate young John Mulaney. <laughs> <laughs> the entire class has gathered to watch Pop's final moments. Shock has frozen the whole crowd. They are as motionless as statues. The class bell rings. Disrupting the moment and snapping everyone back into reality. It Snap would ap- back to reality. Oh, the goes rabbity. Okay, go ahead. It would appear <laughs> that Pop's enthusiasm for trying new things, despite the obvious danger, has inoculated him against the poisons of all kinds. I'm not sure the professor's here to make money. To make enough money. Um, Ghost of student. <laughs> hello. I just turned into a ghost over here! (laughs) Seeing that you're shaken up by the really annoying student and all his nonsense, Colonel Sanders approaches you. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Please let me walk you home. What? Like for real? Oh, come on! You follow Colonel Sanders out of the room. At night, the school building has taken on another vibe entirely. It's dark and more than a little spooky. Horny hours. Colonel Sanders stands in the quad's neon glow and speaks softly. Those mashed potatoes you made in class today? Before you go on, I want you to know, they're not a great representation of my skills. I didn't even realize I was making them. They were amazing. Tasting them, it reminded me why I became so passionate about food to begin with. Colonel Sanders is getting choked up. Cooking is obviously important to him in a way that you find inspiring. Now might be the perfect time to tell him you're developing feelings for him. Colonel Sanders? (laughs) God. (laughs) Yes, Taco Bell. There's something I need to tell you. Hold it right there! It's Von Von! Von Von the Mon Mon! There's something I need to tell you first. Oh, jeez. You turn the fan up. We're gonna have to cut this out because your bitch ass has to come in here. Adam, what the fuck? <laughs> Leave it in. <laughs> All right, so we're starting now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, geez. You see, when I was just a boy, I had a dream that one day I would be the greatest chef the world has ever seen. And every day since, I have been working towards that dream, day and night, never stopping, never resting. Also, lifting a lot of weights, like so many weights. We should follow our dreams with all of our hearts. That our souls may grant them like wishes floating on a shooting star. Oh god, he's fucking Griffith. (laughs) Hey! No! I... 
you. Shut up. I'm the only one here to say inspirational stuff and be the star of the story. Are we forgetting that your cooking literally killed a guy? <laughs> you can't prove that! I also saw you kill that guy. What was his name? Somewhere in the distance you hear a long, sad <laughs> sigh. <laughs> Forget him! We're talking about me! Me, 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 me! I'm the hero. What the fuck? <laughs> you gonna be sport monster? No. Shit. We've already done so. I have to remember so many voices. Adam, you gotta be sport monster. <laughs> yeah, you Don't leave. leave. Fuck it. This sport monster is here to fight a hero. <laughs> That's a really good sport monster. Hey! I, uh, I think I left the fridge door open. Later, nerds! How dare you threaten me just as I was letting down my guard and connecting with another chef on an emotional level. Be afraid! Be very afraid of me! Because I'm a monster! The... <laughs> is he rhyming on purpose, or is that just a coincidence? But before you can discuss syntax any further... It's a turn-based yes! sequence! <laughs> what will you do? Oh, shit. Yes, it's fucking Final Fantasy! Move the fuck over! We're going to attack! You decide to go on the attack. Which attack do you use? Cook with love! <laughs> Cook with love does one damage. Weak! It just got real. That attack really upset Spork Monster. Spork Monster goes on the attack. They spit hot gravy at you. You take one damage. What does the defend do? You decide to defend. Which defense will you use? Trepidation! You continue to stay back and endure whatever comes your way. Seems like a pretty weird st strategy, but okay, sure. You do you. Spork Monster focuses their mashed mind and draws in energy from Mother Earth itself. They grow larger and more intimidating. How do you respond? Attack! You decide to go on the attack. Which attack will you use? Cook with love! Cook with Love does one damage. Spork Monster is no quitter. Buffed up and ready to rumble, they go on the attack once again. Spork Monster uses Utila Tensile. You take two damage from the attack. If you take much more damage, you're not going to survive the battle. Attack. Are you sure? We literally, like, there's no way we can beat this thing unless we kill it. You decide to go on the attack. Cook with Love! Cook with Love does one damage. Spork Monster is oozing cheese sauce onto the lawn of the quad. I wonder who he's going to have to clean that up. Feeling vulnerable, Spork Monster prepares for its ultimate attack. Rounded Edge. Vile villain, your reign of terror stops here. I almost Carlos. went into my Yu-Gi-Oh voice. That sounded very, uh, Pegasus of you. Ooh, Kaiba boy. <laughs> Colonel Sanders summons the energy of a thousand chickens. <laughs> it's the fucking Kukos. Pot Pie Power Punch! Pinch! <laughs> Pot Pie Power Pinch does 10 damage. Spork Monster is defeated. You saved me. <laughs> An injured Spork Monster spews steam into the night. Oh, this is on you, man. What do you want to do? I don't know. He, he attacked him pretty I, hard. I want to spare this wretched beast. You want to spare him? That's what I want to do. Are you sure? If we can make a friend out of Spork Monster and keep him as a fuckable character, then I'm going to do it. You manage to tamp down your disgust at the sight of the gnarly beast long enough to realize that he is still a living creature with a pure soul who deserves your pity, not your wrath. Yeah. Be gone, beast. And don't you dare come back for a follow-up encounter tomorrow. I won't forget this, and I certainly won't be back like you said. <laughs> <laughs> the Spork Monster scuttles off into the night. The defeated monster left behind a special item. Oh. It appears at first to be a cookbook, but upon closer inspection, it's so much more. It's a book of magic Whoa. spells with a golden chicken on the cover. <laughs> it's fucking golden chick! <laughs> the, you open the cover and find a library card tucked inside. The last name to have signed it is Borco. Hmm. Borco. That name sounds strangely familiar. Your blood is pumping as you stand in the quiet of the night, holding the mysterious book in your hands. As you come down from your battle buzz, 
you realize that your final attack has left you completely depleted. The world around you begins to fade. Without any energy to keep your eyes open, darkness overtakes you. The image of Colonel He's Sanders flashes room. before your eyes <laughs> as you fall asleep. He must have helped you get home. In your tired state, you don't know if you could have made it without him. What a guy. Take a drunk girl home. You want to thank him, but you don't have the strength to utter a single word. You feel your covers being pulled up over you as you're tucked in tightly. Good night, my colonel. <laughs> Fucking way. In your dream, you're together with Colonel Sanders. For some reason, Sprinkles is also there. Instructing your love. Dreams are weird. <laughs> <laughs> How beautiful. Okay, go. You awake on day two and attempt to process the wild visions you had. Were they memories or premonitions? And then there was the secret ingredient that Colonel Sanders went ahead and told you outright. Not much of a secret, huh? It's probably just because he already trusts you so much. Sure, that makes sense. We'll go with that. <laughs>